Hey there, welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. Roro ships are maritime vessels made to carry things with wheels like cars, trucks, and trains. Some ships are just for cars, and others can carry cars and trucks. The idea of Roro ships has been around for a while. They became more popular when Britain started to grow its industries in the 1800s. In 1995, a big sea safety meeting gave a clear definition of what Roro ships are. They said it's a passenger ship that can carry cars and other wheeled goods. Nowadays, with better technology, we see bigger and more eco-friendly Roro ships being made. Now let's take a look at the largest Roro ships currently sailing in the world. MV Tonsberg. The MV Tonsberg, owned by the Norwegian shipping and vehicle logistics firm Wolenius Wilhelmsen, is known as the largest row row vessel in the world. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was responsible for its construction, and since its 2011 launch, it has been sailing under the Maltese flag. The vessel boasts a total cargo capacity of 138,000 cubic meters. Incorporating the innovative Mark V technology, the ship features a low, double-bottomed hull, ensuring a smooth journey even in turbulent waters. Measuring 265 meters in length, 32 meters in width, and with a draft of 11 meters, the MV Tonsberg has a gross tonnage of 75,251. It is equipped with six decks designed to transport a mix of heavy rolling and non-containerized cargo, brake bulk, and automobiles. The vessel's internal ramps are adjustable, facilitating easy row-row loading and unloading without the need for onshore cranes. Its external ramp has a load-bearing capacity of 450 tons, whereas the ramp on Deck 2 is tailored for containers, parts of windmills, and yachts. Of its 50,000 square meters deck area, 31,300 square meters is dedicated to cargo storage. The remaining space accommodates the living areas for its 37 crew members, an office, a conference room, and an emergency evacuation zone fitted with a lifeboat. The ship's propulsion system and fuel tanks use fuel oil and marine diesel. The low sulfur content in these fuels aids in reducing the vessel's carbon emissions annually. Figaro Vehicle Carrier Figaro is listed in the Lloyd Shipping Register as a large car truck carrier, with the capacity to transport either 7,880 cars, or a combination of 3,550 cars and 430 buses. Built in 2011 by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in South Korea, it ranks among the largest vessels in Wallenius Wilhelmsen's Roro fleet and currently sails under the Swedish flag. This vehicle transporter measures 232 meters in length and 32 meters in width, with a draft of approximately 10.5 meters. It has a gross tonnage of 74,258 tons and a summer dead weight of 31,143 tons. The ship can reach top speeds of 20 knots, but typically cruises at an average pace of 16 knots. The vessel features nine decks, with two primary loading and unloading ramps situated near the starboard for accommodating larger vehicles, such as buses and trucks. An additional external ramp is designated for car loading. The fifth deck, which is accessed via the primary external ramp, houses conventional cargo. Among the decks, four are stationary, while the rest are adjustable, allowing for enhanced flexibility. The main engine operates with an automated control system, and its rudders are optimized for minimal resistance and heightened efficiency. The ship is equipped with two emergency generators, which include a shaft and diesel generator, and an integrated automatic fire suppression system. The crew's living quarters, accommodating 39 members, are situated beneath the garage deck, which also features a lifeboat and four rafts. CLDN Group's MV Celine Owned by the Luxembourg-based CLDN Group, MV Celine is among continental Europe's grandest short-sea row row ships. It saw its inception at the Hyundai Mipo shipyard in South Korea in 2018. The ship stretches to a length of 235 meters and a breadth of 35 meters. 
With a vast carrying capacity of 8,000 lane meters, it has a gross weight of 74,273 tons. Primarily anchored at the ports of Zeebrugge and Rotterdam, MV Celine has been pivotal in amplifying RORO operations for Dublin port. To accommodate this vessel, three berths at the port were expanded, serving as a trade bridge among Ireland, the Netherlands and Belgium. MV Celine is poised to bolster Ireland's seafaring trade relations with mainland Europe. The ship's structure boasts five decks, including two dedicated ramps for smaller vehicles and trucks. The remaining three decks cater to truck storage. MV Celine uniquely blends the vastness of ocean-bound vessels with the nimbleness of regular ferries. Furthermore, its two-stroke engine, a departure from the conventional four-stroke, ensures efficient operations and reduced carbon outputs. K-Line's Century Highway Green. Hailing from the Tadatsu Shipyard in Japan, an extension of the Imabari Shipbuilding Company, Century Highway Green was birthed in 2021 for Kawasaki Kazan Kaisha Limited opting for an environmental stride. It uses liquefied natural gas over traditional heavy fuel oil. This shift ensures a dramatic reduction in carbon emissions by 25% and a significant 85% decrease in sulfur and nitrogen outputs, thanks to its cutting-edge exhaust gas recirculation technology. Measuring at a 200 meters LOA with a 38 meters breadth, Century Highway Green sails under Japan's emblem. It can house up to 7,080 cars and bears a weight limit of 16,844 tons. The ship's impressive gross tonnage stands at 73,515, with its fuel reservoir capable of holding 2,440 cubic meters of LNG. With the ability to move at 20 knots, its summer deadweight is consistent at 16,844 tons. Its primary engine is dual-fueled, while ancillary engines, including boilers and generators, can be powered by either LNG or marine gas oil. Notably, its MEGI-type main engine is tailored to minimize methane emissions. The vessel is designed with six decks, accommodating crew living spaces and essential life-saving apparatus. Modern conveniences such as Wi-Fi are installed in key zones like the engine room, fuel chambers, and garage deck. It's embedded with the Class NK CMAX technology, a diagnostic tool that identifies potential engine hitches early on. To enhance security measures, the ship has cameras monitoring all decks. Arc Endurance Owned by the American Roll-On Roll-Off Carrier, a leading U.S. Roro enterprise boasting a fleet of 11 commercial Roro vessels, the Arc Endurance stands out as the largest among them. It spans a length of 264.6 meters and a width of 32.29 meters, with a draft currently at 7.6 meters. Previously christened as Taranga, the Arc Endurance was constructed in 1996 by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Despite being in service for 26 years, it remains the fifth largest Roro vessel globally. Now navigating under the U.S. flag, it possesses a carrying capacity of 48,000, 988 tons DWT and a gross tonnage of 72,708 tons. The vessel can achieve top speeds of 20.3 knots, maintaining an average cruising speed of 16.2 knots. With its nine spacious decks, the Arc Endurance can accommodate up to 260,000 square feet of substantial cargo. It's fitted with two primary ramps and an additional quarter ramp with a 330-ton lifting capability. A sophisticated control system enhances loading and unloading processes, granting flexibility to adjust deck configurations to accommodate various cargo types, maximizing capacity. The Arc Endurance regularly traverses the ports of the Gulf, voyaging through the Mediterranean Sea towards destinations in the Middle East and South Asia including prominent ports such as Alexandria and Jeddah. Eco Livorno Owned by the Grimaldi Shipping Company, the Eco Livorno represents the GG5G class of vessels, 
which are celebrated as the most extensive and environmentally progressive row row ships worldwide. Constructed at the Jinling Shipyard in Nanjing in 2021, it sails under the Italian flag. It boasts a gross tonnage of approximately 67,311 tons. The ship features seven decks, accommodating a cargo equivalent to 7,800 linear meters, translating to 495 trailers and 182 cars. Its dimensions are 238 meters in length and 34 meters in width, with a draft currently measuring at 6.9 meters. Its maximum cruising speed stands at 20.8 knots. These vessels embrace cutting-edge carbon reduction methodologies, slashing carbon emissions by a staggering 50% when compared to earlier row row vessels from the Grimaldi fleet. Remarkably, while docked, they register zero greenhouse emissions, thanks to their reliance on electricity generated from onboard lithium batteries, recharged by solar panels. With its engine automation, Echo Livorno often frequents ports like Livorno, Valencia, Savona, and Barcelona. Bolinius Wilhelmsen's Mark IV ships. Bolinius Wilhelmsen operates five distinct classes of Roro ships, among which the Mark IV vessels stand out as some of the world's largest vehicle carriers. These vessels are tailored to transport heavy machinery and construction equipment and brake bulk without sacrificing their capacity for cars. They come equipped with automated stern ramps that can lift up to 500 tons and accommodate cargo with a height of up to 7 meters. The Mark IV class encompasses four car carriers built with an emphasis on energy efficiency and reduced emissions. All these carriers sail under the Norwegian flag. Talisman, Tamasis, and Tarago were commissioned in 2000, while Tamerlane was launched in 2001. These ships boast similar dimensions, capabilities, and are digitized for enhanced communication and tracking. For instance, Talisman has a gross tonnage of 67,140 tons, a summer dead weight of 38,500 tons, and measures 240.6 meters in length and 32.30 meters in breadth. Ephesus Seaways. Designed by the esteemed Knudi E. Hansen, the Roro carrier Ephesus Seaways was constructed at China's Jinling Shipyard in 2019. This was in response to an order by the Danish International Shipping and Logistics Group, DFDS, which sought to expand its Roro fleet with five such vessels. These ships are celebrated for their energy efficiency and modern design, making them the most eco-friendly in DFDS's entire fleet, compliant with the IMO's energy standards. Previously named Gothia Seaways, the vessel spans 238 meters in length and 34 meters in width. Its gross tonnage stands at approximately 60,400, with a draft of 6.8 meters. Currently under the Turkish flag, its dead weight is 21,500 tons. Powered by a 23,600 kilowatts Man B and W engine, it can reach a top speed of 20 knots. The ship is also outfitted with a distinct ramp design that facilitates diverse Roro operations. It has the capacity to house 460 trailers, and its automated ramp system ensures efficient loading and unloading. Felicity Ace Built in 2005 at the Shinkurushima Dockyard, the car and truck carrier Felicity Ace was operated by Japan's Mitsui OS lines and sailed under the flag of Panama. The ship had an overall length of 200 meters, a breadth of 32.27 meters, and a draft of 9.2 meters. It boasted a gross tonnage of 60,118 tons, a dead weight of 17,738 tons, and could reach a top speed of 19.5 knots. Tragically, the ship sank on March 1, 2022, near the Azores after enduring a prolonged fire. The massive vessel, weighing 60,000 tons, ignited on February 16th while traversing the North Atlantic. Bound for Rhode Island, it was transporting 4,000 luxury electric vehicles, 
including brands like Porsche, Bentley, Lamborghini, and Volkswagen. This catastrophe led to financial losses surpassing $400 million. Morning Crown Certified as a vehicle carrier by Det Norske Veritas, the Morning Crown is a Grand Roro ship that sails under the Bahamian flag. Built in 2005 by Stoksnia Gdynia SA in Poland, it was commissioned by the shipping company, Crown Maritime Limited. Measuring 199.94 meters in length and 32.29 meters in breadth with an 8.5 meters draft, its carrying capacity is about 21,052 tons, and it has a gross tonnage of 57,692 tons. The ship features two primary ramps and spans four decks. Its design can host up to 6,600 cars, thanks to hoistable decks which maximize space, allowing it to hold vehicles of diverse sizes. It runs on a 15,857 kilowatts, 7S60 MCC engine, achieving a maximum speed of 19.8 knots. Globus Stella. Introducing Globus Stella, the pride of Globus Co. Ltd., South Korea's trailblazer in logistics. Crafted to perfection in 2019 by Hyundai Mipo Dockyard, Stella boasts an impressive hold, ready to transport a staggering 7,384 vehicles. Dive beneath the deck and discover the heart of this beast, a powerful Man B and W6 S60 MEC8 5 engine. But Stella is more than just raw power. She's a symbol of innovation with cutting-edge features, an electronically guided engine, an eco-friendly ballast water system, and a clean tech scrubber that slashes sulfur oxide emissions. Standing tall among the maritime giants, Stella is a key player in the elite group of 12 hybrid Roro ships, born out of the visionary partnership between Glovis Co. Ltd. and Hyundai Mipo Dockyard in 2015. These aren't merely ships, they represent the future, designed in alignment with the International Maritime Organization's ambitious goals. With environmental goals in mind, they aim to curtail greenhouse gas emissions by half by the year 2050. And the cherry on top, a sleek hull design that cuts through waters with ease, conserving fuel every nautical mile. Sailing across global routes, Stella's versatility is evident. She's the perfect blend of modernity and adaptability, prepared to transport everything from sleek sedans to hefty machinery. Whether via stern ramp, side ramp, or a hoistable deck, Stella rises to every challenge, ensuring your cargo reaches its destination safely. Hog Tigger Hog Tigger is a Roro ship owned by Hog Autoliners SGAS, a logistics company from Norway. Built in 2015 by Hyundai Mipo Dockyard in South Korea, it has a capacity of 8,500 vehicles. The ship is powered by a Man B and W6 S60 MEC8 5 engine that produces 13,560 kilowatts of power and can reach speeds of 19 knots. The ship's dimensions are 199.9 meters in length, 36.5 meters in width, and a draft of 10.3 meters. It's part of the New Horizon class series, which includes six hybrid Roro ships ordered by Hoag Autoliners, SGAS, from Hyundai Mipo Dockyard in 2014. This series also features a unique hull design that reduces water resistance and maximizes fuel efficiency. The ship can carry a variety of vehicles and heavy machinery, from passenger cars to construction machines. It can also handle multiple loading methods like rear ramps, side ramps, quarter ramps, or adjustable decks. Beluga Ace One of the most unique and modern Roro ships in the world is the Beluga Ace, owned by Mitsui OSK Lines, or MOL. Built in 2018 by Mina Minipon Shipbuilding in Japan, it has a capacity of 6,800 vehicles. The ship's dimensions are 200 meters in length, 32 meters in width, and a draft of 9.5 meters. It's powered by a Man B and W6 S60 MEC8 5 engine that produces 13,560 kilowatts of power and can reach speeds of 19 knots. The ship has a unique design called Octopus Eye, 
which features two cargo decks that can be adjusted independently. As such, the ship can accommodate a wide range of vehicle sizes and shapes. Moreover, the octopus eye design reduces wind load on the hull, saving fuel and emissions. MV Tannhauser MV Tannhauser is a Roro ship owned by Wilenius Wilhelmsen, a logistics company from Norway. The ship's dimensions are 200 meters in length, 36 meters in width, a draft of 9.5 meters, and a dead weight of 24,155 tons. Currently, it's one of the largest Roro ships in the world, with a capacity of 8,500 vehicles. Built in 2020 by Hyundai Mipo Dockyard in South Korea, it's part of the Hero or High Efficiency Roro series, which consists of eight hybrid Roro ships. MV Tannhauser boasts an advanced and flexible design, accommodating a diverse range of vehicles of different sizes and shapes. With 13 adjustable cargo decks, MV Tannhauser can tailor its cargo according to customer needs. Not only does it have a sophisticated and flexible design, but it also features modern and eco-friendly technology. This engine is electronically controlled to optimize fuel consumption and emissions. Siam Confucius Siam Confucius is a Roro ship owned by Siam Car Carriers, another logistics company from Norway. Siam Confucius is the world's first Roro ship powered by liquefied natural gas or LNG, a cleaner and more energy efficient fuel than petroleum. Constructed in 2020 by Zaman Shipbuilding Industry, Co Ltd in China, it has a capacity of 7,500 vehicles. The ship's dimensions are 200 meters in length and 38 meters in width. It also features a dual propulsion system that can switch between LNG and petroleum based on availability and operational conditions. The ship boasts 13 adjustable cargo decks, ensuring adaptability to customer needs. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. Catch you in the next one.